What's up YouTube? Just want to make a quick video um, How to spot fake Kobe 8 um, So as you guys know Kobe 8 Should be coming out with a Pro Tro um, In 2022 fall or 2023 And fix are coming out I got these from um, Macari. Um, basically, I got scam because I didn't know they're fake, and uh, they turn out to be fake. So, um, I hope you guys could learn something from the video, to how to spot a fake Kobe eight, so you guys won't buy it, or at least you guys could know how to stay away from it. So, let's start the video. So first of all, when you look at um, the Kobe's, I'm not sure it happens to um, all the Kobe 8, but they should have a Kobe word and K-O-B-E over here on the toe. And they don't have it. So the fake don't have details. The other thing will be um, shoelaces, wrong shoelaces. The real one should have um, um, the yellow stripe, blue stripes, orange stripes, and also some dots. And they don't even have the dots. So, and um, one thing I need to address is they are the Barcelona colorway. So, swoosh color is fine shoes tongue looks good they have the um, snake skin pattern however the midsole is terrible as you guys can see they have some orange face and fade into yellow but it looks like you know greenish yellow um, and some dark green pattern which looks like tiger print but they should be um milk snake skin pattern and they shouldn't have this dark orange on the shoes so you guys could tell they also didn't do a really good um, printing job on the missile you guys could see the dots and they overlap you know so this is too dark and these look like, you know, tiger prints, which is not even correct. Mm. Glue stain all over the shoes. Um, the back, they don't look balanced. If you guys can see, the one on my left, they're more wider. And the one on my right is more slimmer. Plus, you guys could check the um, side panel. They should have snake skin pattern on the um, shoes, but this one is not very obvious. And also, um, the heel counter or heel counter, I don't know, um, where you should um, secure the heel when you're playing basketball, right? They are flumsy, you know. You could easily grab them. You know, squeeze them. Um, they have a lot of padding um, on the side, but I'm not sure if that actually helps how you play basketball. And you could definitely see this one is more puffier than the one on my right. So they are in balance. It won't happen to, you know, some shoes selling from big retailers such as Nike and then they would then have the QC problem um, shoes lace hole they're unopened I need to poke it through um, it won't happen to real shoes the bottom looks oh, fine but um the original one has some black um, 
Kobe logo, and they don't have it even. They don't. They don't even want to make it. Carbon fiber. I feel like the real one, but the real one has um snake skin pattern. This one is just you know carbon fiber looking plate. I mean, I believe they're real carbon fiber. They're not that expensive, right? But they didn't look great. And um, second last thing will be the shoes tag. They have it for um, 2019, which does not make any sense. Should be from 2013, right? Or even if they're trying to pro troll it, they should make it 2020. Obviously, they don't. Um, and you know, when you're wearing shoes for basketball, you care about the cushion. Definitely not Lunar Lawn or React or whatever. They have the cushion for 10.5. And the shoes is a 10. Super weird. Not that good feeling, you know. I'm not sure if I'm trying to play basketball in these. I I might squeeze the midsole and then wear it down after a game, you know. I'm so scared. Like, if I'm wearing this, and they even have a fake zoom bag and they have no air pressure in it they look like some pops out airbags they are so thin you know if you if you ever have like zoom you know they don't feel like this they have no air pressure in it you know it's just like you're you're mushing it and they don't, don't even stick to the midsole or the um I don't know the insole. So probably if you wear these, they would just you know slip out or something. But the whole thing is, if you buy this pair of Kobe, they won't come with um a zoom midsole. A you know on the heel because the real one. It's a whole lunar on, or I don't know, cushioning. So these doesn't pass the authenticate test, and I hope people know what they're buying. I bought these from my Macari, and um, I just opened a case um, regarding to the um, authenticity of these shoes hope you guys not get scammed um you know shoes are made for functional use and then if they have these shoes for basketball and they can play basketball or even make your feet feel worse this is not cool you're hurting yourself when you're wearing these so don't get scammed and stay away from the um, the new fakes for Kobe 8 peace take it easy